Hello, hello everybody. How are we doing today? I hope you guys are all well and happy and healthy. I have missed you guys. It is Taco Tuesday, so we are going to be making a little twist on a yummy taco dish. Um, they're called Cheesy Tex-Mex Roll-Ups. Um, I know some restaurants serve these as like appetizers and they're really good. Um, they serve them with like avocado sour cream and stuff like that. So I'm excited to try them. Hello, Heather, Denise, Alice, Miranda. How is everyone doing? You guys, I'm just going to take a second and share this post. If you guys will take a second and share it too, I would appreciate it. Because the more people that share the more people that are watching sorry my youngest is so hungry he is demanding the food right now hello buffy eileen yvonne danielle rose kate hello michael and ashley and danielle how is everyone doing hello jason it is actually warm here today it was like a high 60s in minot today which was nice um <clears throat> doesn't want to listen to dad. Hello, Deb and Katie and Amy. Colette, how are you guys? We are doing well. Hey, Azuzina and Anne. Hello, Kelly and Susan and Miranda and Deborah. How is everyone doing? You guys just take a second, share the video. Make sure you leave a reaction on the video right as you tune in. A thumbs up, a smiley face, a heart face, anything like that will get you entered into the giveaway. The good thing is to just get in the habit of doing it right away when you sign on to the video so that you don't ever forget to do it when I pull names in the middle of the show. He is just not buying it today, you guys. No, he's laughing. Playing games with Dad. He's obsessed with Buzz Lightyear, as you guys know, so he is demanding Buzz um, in uh, negotiation for being quiet for Mommy's show. Hello, Kelly and Marilyn, Tiffany and Katie. Hello, hello, you guys. How are you? Jody, Deborah, Jamie, Lori, Kelly. Yes, you guys, he is just really hungry. We all get like that. Um, a little news to update to those of you that remember that my family is self-quarantining out of precaution. Um, we are quarantining even more so now. Um, we originally started quarantining because um, our daycare provider's husband came up positive. Even though my kids were in direct contact with him, he does live in the house that they go to daycare at. So we started quarantining last Friday. Um, we just got the news today that um, his wife, the daycare provider, is actually positive as well. Um, since we are five days from exposure, we did all go in as a family and get tested today. Um, our youngest one is the only one that may be showing symptoms. You, uh, I feel like when COVID is involved, you put everyone under a microscope and every sniffle, every cough, you're like, oh no. Um, so he just has a little bit of sniffles, a little bit of congestion, but he is known to have really bad allergies through the fall season. Um, we take, give him allergy medicine every day. So we're hoping that it is allergies and not COVID, but we obviously will find out by the end of the week. So fingers crossed there. Hello, Brie and Carol and Alan. Thank you, Sandy. It's all good, you guys. Hello, Becky and Kareen and Carol. Just wanted to give you guys an update just in case at any point I need to go radio silence on my show um, through the week. If that happens, I will keep you guys updated um, on our status on who's healthy and how's it going, but um, I will have to cancel my show. Um, I do have some friends that have offered to bring me groceries when we need them, but I'm obviously not going to make them make a special trip just for my show so we're gonna make do with what we have they did scratch all of our brains um, my five-year-old was really excited for it he wanted the test done my three-year-old got it done it was absolutely miserable it still still didn't deter my five-year-old until he got it up his nose and it was game over he was not happy with me he was not happy with the nurse it was not a good ordeal um, but we all survived the brain tickling so we should be good to go <laughs> Meatloaf pasta or taco? It's Taco Tuesday. Come on, Tiffany. It's 
it's a no-brainer. Hello, Thelma and Deborah. Make sure you guys are preheating your oven to 450. Charity and Jessica and daddy -o. Thank you, Carol, for the prayers. Hello, Charity and Connie and Jill and Twyla and Deb and Darwin and Shannon. Hello, you guys. It is Taco Tuesday, and we are going to make cheesy Tex-Mex roll-ups. Glad you caught me live, Charity. How have you been? Cross Rainbow Bridge Friday afternoon. I'm sad and trying to think of something else. I'm glad I'm here. We are with you, Kareen. I am so, so sorry that you um, had to deal with that. It's never fun losing a loved one or an animal. So my heart is with you. Being on second quarantine is crazy. Hello, Carrie. All right, you guys, we're going to prep some of our stuff. Um, it is not to corn season here in North Dakota anymore. So there was no way I was going to get my hands on two ears of corn. So I am going to try to use canned corn and just cross my fingers and hope for the best. So I'm just going to open this up and um, I got a can strainer. I wonder where it ended up. <laughs> I do have a can strainer. Pamper Chip has this really neat device that allows you to stick it over the top of your can and strain out all the extra juice. And I bought one and I think it got swooped up and put away with all my extra stuff. So I'm just gonna go over to the sink and I'm just gonna drain my can of corn so that it is ready for the skillet when we are cooking our ground beef up. Um, the recipe calls for three-fourths of a pound of ground beef, but obviously they don't sell that. So I just got a pound of ground beef and I'll cook it all up. And then if we have extras, I'm sure nobody will be opposed to making themselves their own little taco instead of a cheesy roll up. Hello. Um, Philip, so I got tested before I had surgery a month and a half ago, and they did a throat swab, and it wasn't bad at all. Um, this facility is still doing the nasal test, and it does not feel good. It's very, very small. I don't know why it hurts so bad, but it does feel like they're tickling your brain and not in a good way. So I think it just depends on what facility you go to and which one they are, what test they are practicing. Thank you, Sheila. You are so sweet. Hello, Heather. Don't forget to leave your reactions at the bottom of the screen, you guys. Hello, Liz. All right, so we have our corn. It's ready. Two ears of corn. I have no idea how much that equals in a can, so we're just going to kind of eyeball it. I don't want the corn to overtake the meat mixture, so um, I'm just going to kind of do it that way. Um, we want just half of a small red bell pepper. So just went to the store, got a red bell pepper. I'm just going to cut the top off. Um, I try not to cut all the way through. I just lightly slice through the skin on the top and then I twist it. And a lot of the seeds come out on their own. So you don't have to do a lot of digging. I then break off these lighter pieces um, that kind of go down the, the veins of the peppers so that I... Um, I just don't like the taste of that part of the pepper. I'm going to just slice it with my paring knife into a little bit smaller pieces. Cut out again like this lighter colored part of the pepper. If you eat peppers raw, you may really, really like that part of the pepper. I'm just not a huge fan. Um, it doesn't help that I'm a little kid and I don't really like peppers unless they're cooked. Um, bell peppers at least. So we've got this. I am going to just throw this into my manual food processor and chop it up. I am doing the whole bell pepper. It does call for just half of a red bell pepper, but since I'm doing all the ground beef, I am just going to make a little bit extra um, cut up grill um, bell peppers. Thank you, Susan. So two ears does equal a can of corn. Hello, Krista. How are you? And Meg and KS. How is everyone doing? So it just says to finely dice up your pepper. If you have your Santoku knife, it does recommend that you use that to dice up your pepper. If you have your food, food chopper, cut up your pepper into smaller pieces and use your food chopper to dice it up. Hello, Jaden. How are you, Kayan? I know it is a new way. That's how I cut my peppers. Remember, you guys, leave a reaction down at the bottom of the screen, smiley face, happy face, whatever you want to leave. We will pull names off here in a little bit while I am browning the burger. I'll pull names off. I am a super picky eater, Jason, and I don't deny it. Um, I have a lot of friends and family that pick on me. I eat like a little kid, but I do uh, eat some things that kids don't. <laughs> Hello, Susan and Cindy. How are you? Carly and Taylor. So I'm just dicing up my pepper right now. Getting them into little pieces. 
And then I am going to, so we're gonna throw in our bell pepper. Let's see. We're going to cook the ground beef with the rub and the salt. Then we are going to add the corn and the bell pepper and stir in the cheese and the cilantro. I just wanted to see when I was supposed to put my cilantro in because I need to chop it first. Hello, Charlene, hello, how are you, how are you Cassie? Hello, Philip. I'm excited for this recipe. Hello, Sasha and Sarah. I know, Jason, you want me to unplug my air fryer, unplug, my quick cooker is usually plugged in, but I unplugged it last night. I leave things plugged in unless we go out of town and then I unplug stuff. So I just chopped up my bell pepper like so. We should be ready to throw our ground beef and our salt and our chipotle rub. So we're gonna be using our Pampered Chef chipotle rub today. Um, spices, salt, garlic, green peppers, red peppers, smoked paprika, smoked paprika, chipotle chili, and pepper. All of our seasonings and spices are gluten-free, so if you do have a gluten intolerance, that is something that's super cool about all of our spices is that they are gluten-free. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna turn my skillet onto medium-high heat, get ready to put my ground beef, my salt, and my rub in here. And I've got my laptop over here so that I can pull the names off when we are ready. All right, how is everyone doing tonight? Is anyone cooking along with me? Tammy, hello, and Taylor. <laughs> That's okay, Jason. At least you're a paying attention and talking. I'm okay with that. You can pick on me all you want. I'm gonna keep my air fryer plugged in because we use it so often. I would get so tired of having to plug it back in every day. We probably use it three times a day. So I have my ground beef in the skillet. You're gonna chop it up with your mix and chop. Have my peppers ready. Grab my corn. We've got that all ready to go. Got my mix and chop ready. Hello, Linda, how are you? It's making soup tonight. Uh, Carol, I actually looked at a bunch of soup recipes before I decided on this recipe. So soup is calling my name, but it was gonna be warm today, so I figured I'd go with Taco Tuesday. Hello, Brianne, how are you? Good, good, no late over here for dinner, but good to know for later. Cooking with you. Um, two tablespoons of rub does seem like a lot, but um, if I think about it, when I'm making tacos and I'm cooking my ground beef, I use an entire packet of taco seasoning, and that's actually more than two tablespoons. So don't let it discourage you. Um, you do want this to be flavorful because the only other thing that we are adding into this that has flavor is your bell peppers. Um, you know, cheese is a very, very mild flavor. Um, you can obviously salt and pepper your meat as um, much as you want or as little as you want. So do not be scared to put those two tablespoons in because that is the only flavor that's going to be inside of this roll up. I wish I would have voted today, guys. I planned on it and then we had to quarantine. Um, I'm really disappointed. I would have done an absentee vote if I could have predicted we were going to be quarantined from Friday. Um, I am mad at myself for it. I tried to find a way online to somehow register and vote absentee today, but it wouldn't go through in time. So I am definitely disappointed in myself for that. Um, our basket air fryer, anything that is um, pre-packaged and frozen. Um, fries, chicken fingers, chicken wings, um, tater tots, curly fries, any of those things is what we put in our air fryer basket. Yum, goulash. In front of, yeah, in front of my air fryer is the spinning basket that goes inside of it. Mini Big Macs for dinner. Love my mix and chop. Sorry, I'm a little behind on the comments. Brisket chili in a cinnamon roll bowl. That sounds so weird. It is the basket for the air fryer. Grilling up marinated venison backstrap low and slow like prime lid. Yum. We got those. We got one of those two winters ago from our insurance agent, and it was so good. 
All right, so we're sprinkling in two tablespoons of the chipotle rub, like so. Ground beef and salt. You want a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Um, you can use less or more. That is up to you depending on your saltiness that you want. You can either strain off your meat or you can leave that grease in there. That's up to you as well. Um, depending on how much liquid is in here after I add in our corn and our um, red bell peppers will let off a lot of water. So um, strain if necessary to get all that extra liquid out of there um, because once we add in our cheese and stuff, you don't want it to be soupy and goopy um, to be able to roll it up into our tortilla shells. I'm going to turn my heat down a little bit because I am working with a stainless steel pan. If you leave your heat up too high, it will start to cause your food to stick to the nonstick surface of our stainless steel pan. You want to cook the meat until it's no longer pink. Hello, Krista and Bill. Um, so I have done pizza rolls in the basket. Um, I recommend if you do pizza rolls in the basket that you cook at a lower temperature and for a shorter amount of time because the second that those pizza rolls pop open, it will make a mess out of your basket if they pop open. So I do recommend that you cook them and keep an eye on them if you cook them in the basket. But I do cook them that way. You just got to be super careful. It's all right, Linda, better late than never. You guys get your reactions to get entered into the giveaway. Hello, Carissa. How are you? So we are cooking up our ground beef. These directions are a hot mess. Breaking it in. Now we're going to add our corn and our bell peppers for one to two minutes. Like I said, I don't want to overpower with corn, so I'm doing probably only half of a can. Dump in my bell pepper. Cook this for another two minutes. Looks pretty now, you guys. It adds a lot of fun color in there. Throwing food on the floor, my dogs are gonna be excited. All right, so I'm going to let that cook for two minutes while I pull the names off for the giveaway. So if you do not get your reaction in now, you will not be entered into the giveaway. So I do recommend that you leave your reaction here right now to get entered into the giveaway at the end of the show. You do have to be present to win the giveaway at the end of the show. So if you want to win, make sure you stick around. I only give you two minutes once I pull the name to claim your win. So make sure you are paying attention. We've had a couple winners miss their names recently. Also, please make sure you like and follow my page to get entered into the giveaway. If you don't like and follow the page, you might not win. I'm gonna multitasking here, moving this around, making sure my bell peppers and my corn get nice and crispy. I don't see a lot of extra liquid, which is nice. Save me a step. Obviously, the less lean your ground beef is, the more excess liquid you will have or fat at the bottom of your pan. We have about 85 people entered into the giveaway. Here we go. All right, got the names pulled off, and then I will go through and sort them and pull out our two winners from Sunday. All right. Yes, you guys, cheesy Tex-Mex roll-ups. Gonna be so good. Hello, Angie. Yes, I can smell these bell peppers, you guys. That um, Chipotle rub blended in really nicely. I don't think it's too much at all. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to overpower the dish. I know, Heather. I actually, um, I actually thought of you the other day because I just bought a second one. I know, Crystal. I wish you were too. I'm sure we're going to have a bunch of extra ones. Hello, Shannon. How are you? <laughs> Krista, you are so sweet. I'm not sure about all of that. 
but I do try. I pick out recipes and give them a whirl. Sometimes the kids hate them and sometimes they like them. All right, so we've got these all cooked up. We're going to pop back over to our instructions. Make sure we don't miss a step. So we've cooked this for one to two minutes. We are gonna remove it from the heat, drain if necessary. I'm going to try, see if I can get any liquid out of here. Always strain it off into a can or a dish of some kind in your sink. Don't strain the fat down the sink. Your plumber will not be happy about it. I have a septic system, so even more so, we get a pretty strong finger wag when we um, do things we're not supposed to with our system. All right, so I am just going to pour this off into my batter bowl. This is my classic batter bowl, so it has an eight cup capacity, which I love. I love using it. It's all I used before I got the stainless steel mixing bowls, but now I kind of switch it up between the two. Take this, set it off to the side. There we go. So we've got our mixture ready for our Tex-Mex stuff. I'm gonna pop over here so that we can add in our cheese and our cilantro, if you guys are wanting to add cilantro in. Yes, you guys, I love the air fryer. Our air fryer, um, you might be able to do these in the air fryer if you want to. You just have to keep an eye on them as the timing might be a little different than in the oven. I just preheated my oven to 450 and I'm just gonna try and cook them in there instead of my air fryer. So we remove this from the heat, have all this in here drained if necessary. Then we're gonna stir in the cheese and the cilantro and then we are gonna start making our roll ups. So. We want one and a half cups of cheese. I am using our three cheese Mexican blend. Um, it asks for just a Monterey Colby Jack blend. So very, very similar here. One and a half cups. You guys know I'm still missing my one cup measuring cup. So I'm using my three fourths instead. Oops, giving the dogs some cheese, their favorite thing. Um, I don't think I'm gonna add any cilantro. I did pull it out of the fridge, thinking of my husband, but we still have that salsa I made the other day, so I'll just have him dip his in some salsa to get his cilantro flavoring in there. Sometimes I just can't ignore the soap taste that cilantro gives. Gina, that's awesome. I've been wanting to try to make my own egg rolls. I think it would be super yummy, because all I have are like the frozen egg rolls, so making my own would be nice. Hello, Chelsea, how are you? And Susan, yes, you guys, those stainless steel mixing bowls are beautiful and I love them a lot, but I do love my classic batter bowl just as much. Hello, Laura. <laughs> all right, so we've got that all mixed in. Now it says I'm gonna just use my um, cutting board. I'm gonna have my baking sheet here and ready. We are going to use six tortilla shells. It says to use 11 inch tortilla shells. So I picked up the flour burrito tortilla shells. Yes, Chelsea, I will make you hungry. I will not uh, lie about that. If you have not eaten, um, I would grab a snack right now. <laughs> yes, my dogs beg me constantly to drop food. Use parsley. You need green vegetables to absor absorb the moisture. But I want them kind of ooey and gooey. That's how they are at the restaurants when I order them. And I'm also going to dip ours into... Um, dip ours into some queso dip from um, Tastefully Simple. I have a white queso dip from them and I have been dying to try them. My dad has talked me in to adding in cilantro to not be a baby. I don't have any other green one right now. So I'm just using my stripper like so. I'm going to dump out my manual food processor pop the blades back in the roll. I don't think this will work, but we're gonna try to chop it up that way. I wish I had our herb mill 
It's awesome, you guys. If you haven't seen the Pampered Chef Herb Mill, you guys should go check it out. Super fun little device that you put your herbs into and it grinds them up for you so that you can just sprinkle them onto pizza or, um, or lasagna or whatever you are putting your cilantro or your parsley or whatever onto, like so. We're gonna see if these will get caught up in the blade. Philip, I do need some more truff hot sauce. It didn't really work. We got a little bit out of there. So we will try it. Put the veg in there. Get them out of my food processor. Somebody's going to get big old bites of cilantro. And I hope it's not me. <laughs> you guys, I'm such a baby. Um, uh, did I tell you guys the story of the last time I was at the store buying cilantro and they have parsley and cilantro right next to each other. I was drawing a brain fart and they had parsley labeled, but they didn't have the other green herb labeled. And so I stopped a random stranger and I was like, I know you don't work here, but I can't figure out if this is cilantro. And she looked at it, she looked at it, and then she threw a piece in her mouth and was like, yep, it's cilantro and walked away. She said, of all spells, try it. And I wanted to go, not if it tastes like soap, <laughs> but I kept it to myself. Black beans in the meat against my husband's recommendation. See, I think some black beans would be good in here too. So we're gonna just take this. I'm not sure how much to put in each one just yet. So we'll kind of try and ratio it out. If we make less or we make more, so be it. All right, so we're gonna take this and then we're going to roll the ends in. And then we are going to roll them together, like so. Yes, you guys, it's gonna be so good, so easy. It's good for my kiddos too. They like to eat and play, so at least they can kind of carry this around with them while they're building their magnet blocks and not worry about letting the dogs or the cats get the food before they do. So I'm just kind of rolling in these bot these corners, kind of tucking them in, fold over one half of it, and then roll it into itself. If that's right, I have no idea, but that's how I roll my enchiladas. So that's how I'm gonna roll these. That is how I learned to roll that way, is by making enchiladas. So. They stay together when I make enchiladas, so we'll hope that they stay together making these cheesy, mexy roll-ups. I'm definitely glad that I did the whole pound of ground beef because I might be stuffing mine a little too fat, but that's okay. <laughs> that would have been a good idea, Pam, but I have just doomed us all to cilantro. I think there's enough flavors in here that I won't have to worry too much. I'm going to make some of these other ones a little smaller for my kiddos, a little thinner, a little less meat in them so that if they do fall apart, they don't lose too much of the good stuff in the middle. Fold your ends in first, fold this over the top and just roll it up good. Lost my end. Ta-da. So we should be able to make two more. So we'll see if this works. <laughs> Thanks, B. You know me. Just trying to impress everybody with my mad cooking skills. <laughs> All right. I made something the other day and I, I posted it on Snapchat and I got a bunch of replies back. Oh, that looks so good. Ooh, save some for me. And once I told about half of them that it was a pork chop, they all said, wow, you made that look good, but I don't eat swine. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny that I could even make pork look good to them, which I was very entertained by. 
All right, so I was able to make six of these with a pound of ground beef instead of three fourths. So if you are cooking for a crowd, I would definitely double the recipe um, with two pounds of ground beef and double of everything else because it didn't make that many of these guys. And for how hungry my family is tonight, <laughs> I think we might actually polish all of these off. So we will see. But I also make two full baking sheets of enchiladas when I make them. All right, so we've got these all lined up on my baking sheet. Then it says we are going to spray them down with our kitchen spritzer with some vegetable oil in that. Yes, you guys, it is a jean that makes um, cilantro taste like soap to certain people. It is a gene, it is genetic. So if there is ever a reason you don't like a salsa of some kind, it might be the cilantro that's in it that is making it taste soapy to you. So it is a proven fact. All right, so spraying these with vegetable oil and then, um, then I'm going to pop them into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes until they're nice and brown and crispy. So 450, um, medium or in the middle rack. So I need to move mine up just one slot. Pop them in. And then we will do our giveaway. So 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna put mine in, oops, for 10. And we are going to get ready to do our giveaway. Here we go, here we go. Um, Lorelai, I am not sure. Awesome, Lacey, I love the multitasking. Nope, nothing to make fun of. It is definitely a gene. Yeah, soap mold. Hello, Rob and Meg. All right, you guys. That's awesome, Shannon. Yeah, it's crazy that um, some people just don't know that that's what it is. Cilantro is definitely hit or miss in certain families and certain groups of people. It all seriously all depends on if they have that gene or not. Definitely, definitely, definitely depends on that. All right, you guys, we are gonna get ready to do this giveaway. You guys, it does smell so, so good. And we're just gonna heat up some queso from Tastefully Simple. And it's going to be absolutely delicious to do and taste and eat. And my kids are probably dying of hunger downstairs. <laughs> but we will be done shortly. Just making sure that I haven't missed any of the likes and follows and whatever that it pulls in with your guys' names because then that would take away from your ability to win and that would be no fun at all. All right. I think they have all been caught, removed, deleted. I believe so. Yes, Ooh, my oven just popped. All right, I caught them all this time. There was a couple in the last drawing. Don't always see them. Okay, will someone pick, let's see who. Lynn Lukes, Lynn Lukes, will you pick two numbers between 1 and 12? Two numbers between 1 and 12. Lynn Lukes and Lynn Lukes only. Lynn Lukes. 
Yes, Yvonne, you might be lucky. Here we go, you guys. Yes, you guys, I think if you want, you can add some like maxi rice in there or you can put some black or pinto beans in there. There's definitely a way to stretch it and make it go further without spending more money on ground beef. Um, you can also make a ground turkey substitution if you need to or wanted to. Um, Yes, you guys, you can do diced chicken, you can do pork. That's what's awesome about taco nights is that you can mix them up and change them up to um, suit your own needs. All right, five and eight. Five and eight are going to be our winners today. Remember, if I pull your name, it doesn't necessarily mean you've won. It has to be on the number that we pick, five or eight, and you do have to be present to win, so make sure you are watching for your name and comment as fast as you can. Number one, two, three, four, and our first winner, five, Shannon Thompson. Shannon Thompson, if you are here, please comment that you are here. Shannon Thompson, number six. Oh, Yvonne, so close. Number seven. And number eight, our next winner, Susan Bestie. You better still be watching. So we got Susan is our second winner. Susan, if you are watching, make sure you guys comment, you guys, our first winner and our second winner. You do have to be present to win. Congratulations, you guys. Make sure you comment. Shannon is here. Shannon, our first winner, has commented and claimed her prize. Shannon, make sure that you... Send me your name, your email, your shipping information, and your phone number, and I will get something sent off to you. And our second winner is here, Susan. They are both here, you guys. First name, last name, email, phone number, and shipping information. I will get something sent off to you. Don't forget to message me, because then I'll forget to send your prize. Thank you guys for watching. I will post a beautiful picture when we are all done cooking and crisping those up. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye.